Last year, as some of you may know, I got very, very sick. Not just a week or two of serious illness sick, but a life-altering doctor visits every week for an entire year sick. Part of getting that incredibly sick involved signing up for government assistance programs. Quite a few of them, in fact. Uh, but one in particular stood out to me. Just like every other thing I've ever had to sign up for online, this government website asked me to create an account with an account name and an associated password. I typed in my account name, and then, as I have for literally every government website since the start of my illness, I typed in my password. It was at this point I saw a message that I have come to hate probably more than I reasonably should. Password too long. The website I was on had a limit of 12 characters for a password, and mine was longer than that by quite a few characters. I hate, and I mean hate, when a website does this. I've spoken about this before, multiple times. If you've watched my Battle Network 3 Let's Play, you've probably heard about this. If you've watched any of my random streams, you may have heard about this. If you were my actual, real-life mother who came to visit me at one point the day after this happened to me in real life, you heard about this. It's something that is legitimately insane to me, and I've decided to actually sit down and fully explain why that is for once. Since the early days of the internet, we have been trained on password security. The idea that if your password isn't safe, then your information also isn't safe. The problem is the way that we've been trained to create our passwords is fundamentally wrong, and it's been wrong for so long now that the people whose job it is to actually implement the safety procedures don't fully understand why they're doing it incorrectly. Eight characters minimum, a mix of letters and symbols, at least one capital, at least one lowercase. That is a strong password, according to pretty much any website you've ever been on. But how exactly does your account and your password get compromised, and why is this wrong? So there are phishing attacks wherein someone attempts to just to get you to just give them your password via fake but extremely authentic looking emails and websites asking for your information. For these attacks, your password strength doesn't actually matter because if you just tell them, then they simply have your password. It doesn't matter how long or how strong your password is. The eight characters mix of symbols actually matters for brute force type attacks, where a computer script simply generates password combinations in hopes of hitting an actual real password randomly. That's not exactly how it works, but it's a simple enough explanation to get you to kind of understand. So why does the 12 character limit bother me and why is the 8 character minimum actually bad? Well, before I can explain that, we need to talk about parallel universes. Okay, no, not really. We need to actually talk about math. And yes, that's significantly less fun. So let's talk about exponential growth. Uh, for anyone who didn't spend four entire years of high school not passing Algebra 1, yes, I'm talking to you specifically, Brian. Uh, exponents are pretty easy to actually understand, but for those of you who hated math, I will try to explain to make it a little easier. This little symbol here, the caret or exponent symbol, represents how many times a number is multiplied by itself. So if you have 2 to the third, you have 2 times 2 times 2, which comes out to 8. If we increase the exponent to 2 to the fourth, you get 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, 2 multiplied by itself 4 times, or 16. Uh, pay attention, there will be a quiz on this later. Exponential growth is growth that happens very, very quickly. How quickly? Quiz time! Let's say you're given a choice between two money-making options. The first is an empty bank account that will have $1 million deposited into it every day for 45 days. The second is a bank account that will have one penny deposited in it on the first day, and every subsequent day, the value of that account will double. So then on the second day, you'll have two pennies, then on the third day, you'll have four pennies, and so on and so on. Which will be worth more money after 45 days? Uh, go ahead and answer in the comments. I'll wait. Let's see how much each account is worth. Obviously, the million-dollar account will be worth $45 million. It's just $1 million times 45 days. That's a lot of money. If you had chosen the penny account, you would have, however, ended up with this much money, which, as far as I can tell, is enough money to buy Twitter and make an ass of yourself to the entire world a few times over. This is the power of exponential growth. It doesn't matter that one penny is one one hundred millionth of a million dollars, because two to the 44th power 
is a hilariously large number on its own. Okay, back to the password thing. You remember when we were talking about passwords, or did the math portion melt your brain? Why did we even have that portion? So remember I said that password strength is for brute force attacks, a computer just randomly trying to guess your password. How does that work? Well, a computer script can go through passwords very, very quickly. There are 94 different possible characters you can use for a password. 32 lowercase letters, 32 uppercase letters, 10 numbers, and 32 special characters like the exclamation point. A high-end computer made specifically to brute force passwords can go through multiple billions of combinations of these characters in roughly a second. Yes, billions per second. So how do you make your password more secure, and why does the character limit matter? Well, let's do some math again real quick. Let's speculate that the time it takes for an attack script to go through all 96 characters is 1 100 billionth of a second. That is 0 0.0000000000001 seconds. Uh, if my math is correct, it might not be. Uh, honestly, it's probably faster than this, but this is just to give you a rough explanation. If your password is one character long, that's how long it takes for it to be broken. But what if it's two characters long? You haven't doubled the time it takes at this point because now it has to go through all 96 characters an additional 96 times. You've exponentially increased the amount of time it takes. So you end up with that 0 0.0000000000001 times 96 to the second power seconds. Uh, and for three characters, that becomes 96 to the third, then 96 to the fourth, and so on. So at eight characters, you end up that with that 1 100 billionth of a second times 96 to the eighth power seconds, which comes out to roughly 72,000 seconds or 50-ish days. Uh, that's not an incredibly short amount of time, but it's not really that long either. But what if we increase the password length to, I don't know, let's say 16 characters. What do we get with that? Well you get this number of seconds. That translates roughly down to one quadrillion years, I think. Again, if my math is right, which at this point, it probably isn't because these numbers are huge. The point is that the difference between eight characters and 16 is massive to the point of being comical. 50 days is less than the amount of time I spent thinking about making this video. One quadrillion years is roughly how long it will take some of you to fully understand exponents. Okay, but what does all of this mean exactly? Well, it means that you should let me make my passwords as long as I want, goddammit, but it also means you should be making your passwords longer. The longer your password is, the safer you are from these types of attacks. It actually is that simple. Which sounds wrong next to a computer that can guess billions of passwords in a fraction of a second, but it really is. It just works. And you may be thinking, well, how do I remember a password that is that long without forgetting it? And the answer is actually equally simple. Just make your password an easy phrase to remember. For context, if your password was like and subscribe to Pink Reaper, that would be 28 characters, a password so long that the heat death of the universe would happen before a computer could guess it. And I hear you saying, but that doesn't have numbers and symbols in it, that means it can be guessed faster. To which I respond, it's still 28 characters, and I'm trying to make it easy for you. Stop being a little shit. Simple, easy to remember, but long, multi-character passwords like that are significantly more safe than using eight random characters you'll never remember anyway. Of course, none of this matters if you can't figure out not to open the, that link in the email that Drake from Rap sent you asking for $5,000 in iTunes gift cards so that he can finally release a new album. <laughs>